What is it? Oh, oh, oh my! Oh, 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 oh. Very nice. It's another week and another deep dive into our subreddit following the Turkish Grand Prix as well. So let's see the reaction and whatever memes you guys have been posting in there about the Turkish Grand Prix. But before we get into that, we I just wanted to show you guys because I noticed this uh, before, I think two episodes ago, but um, I didn't actually show it to you guys. Is We've got a brand spanking new banner in the subreddit and I really, really dig it. I like the vibe, obviously quadrant kind of fluoro color related or brawn GP hat you want to say you know there's a lot of i think people think that the fluoro vibe in my my team career mode is because of quadrant it's not it's it's because of braun gp because i'm a massive jensen button fan kind of you know it just so happens to also be somewhat similar it's not actually technically the same color the braun gp and jensen button colors are kind of more yellowy and then the quadrant ones are slightly more green uh hue they're, but they're very very similar it just worked out that way to me i mean what a turn of the what a turn for the books that they end up being such a similar color but now nah, awesome awesome banner I like the use of the kind of a uh, screenshot obviously that i posted i actually love this shot from instagram uh, of myself in the shades and it was made by ush1 baru so thank you very much mate very very sick banner let's dive in though and the first one relating to the turkish grand prix straight i thought i thought there'd be some content about the the white red ball is night mode versus normal mode it really was a, a, a flick because like the rest of it is pretty much the same apart from you know the, the front of the nose wasn't yellow and uh, I think I saw my fellow content creator Tom uh, on Twitter uh, put that out that it would have looked nicer with the yellow nose and I agree with him it would have made it kind of feel a bit more still quite Red Bull-y with it um, but obviously they went kind of for the full on white on the front with the red to kind of obviously match the Japanese colours but very very slick livery still obviously I think looking back at it now there were a few little tweaks you could have done to make it better I think Tom did a really good tweet about that really photoshopped it I'll, think, I'll try and edit it over right now. So shout out. Um, yeah, I, I agree with the changes. Would have looked uh, that little bit better. I still like it though. I, I still th I think it's a, it's it's nice when a team does a wonderful delivery. Wasn't as cool as the McLaren Golf one though. That was still the best one I've seen in a while in terms of one-off delivery. I created circuit using all of the circuits where F1 raced or will be. Oh my goodness me! What? The <laughs> There's a lot going on here. I I kind of always want to try and piece together what these tracks are because it's going to annoy me, but I'm not going to be able to do it because there's so many different ones. Right, we've got... Let's have a look what we got here. Now, this is Austria. I'm pretty sure this bottom bit here. This, this bit, I have no clue what the hell that is. That looks like a bit of Spa or Spain. This could be... Oh, what the hell is this? Ah, uh, this is going to annoy me so much. This is going to annoy me so much that I can't pick out a lot of these details. That is, that is USA, isn't it? Like the little, no, it's not. No, yes, it is. No, no, it's annoying me. It's annoying me. Oh my God. There's so many different bits. There's the, this long corner. That's Russia. That's Russia turn three, isn't it? And then into four. I think, and then we loop around maybe parts of, well, I don't even know what these, stra these straights are just all the straights in F1, so they could be Baku, Italy, whatever, you know, Saudi Arabia, as he said, will race that as well. There's a lot, this is impressive, actually, the fact that you've chained it all together. Anyway, I could marvel at this for a while. I'm not going to guess any of them correctly, probably. Let me know in the comments below if you have uh, successfully tried to manage a, a decent percentage. I'm looking through the comments. Three lap race, quali, need hard tires for this race. Mega hards like truck tires. Defo, defo. I want to know, you know what you need to do, OP? You need to post a little edit of this now for next week's Reddit video where you tag every single corner and let me know because I... Uh, my memory's not that good. It's like a goldfish. And looking at track maps is not my best thing. Um, I'm very much a visual person. Of, like, I need to be on the circuit driving it virtually or whatever to know. But that would be quite interesting if you if you edited that for next week and we find out. I predicted the future, though, apparently two years ago. Look, listen. I'm just the Simpsons of motorsport. If you don't know what that means, Simpsons predicts a lot of things in real life. I am just the Simpsons of motorsport. Every I, I, I've made so, the thing is it's it's kind of maybe this is less 
predicting it may be. It's the case of I've done so many different F1 videos with different scenarios with modding and changing liveries and driver transfers that eventually I'm going to get some right, I think. You know, my driver, I'll, I'll take that. Bit of wizardry involved with that. But with videos like these, it's just uh, it's just the case of, you know, I've thrown so many darts, I'm going to hit the dartboard eventually with uh, some of these predictions. But it's quite uncanny that the white red ball is there. And this one, this is what I meant with the Tom thing, uh, with the edit he did. The yellow nose would have looked a bit more, kind of just more complete, I think. And then Saudi Arabia, for the better, is a race against time. The circuit is far from being finished, but the Grand Prix, is, if, if this is the photo from two months out, this is going to be like a, uh, a career... India situation, where especially at Korea, they basically they, they didn't have the circuit ready in time, and they would bodge jobbed it together, and they just about got it ready um, in in time for the race. Um, but yeah, as the, as the comment says, maybe for the better, some questionable decisions, obviously in the country. I won't say anymore. The cameraman definitely enjoyed the stop by Max. I saw the, they, they, they said they said Crofty mentioned this on the on the live feed, and I saw it at the time as well, uh, like live happening before they even showed the replay here. It was absolutely awesome. Like he knew he knew that was a sweet pit stop. He got the great shot from the kind of front end or whatever, and he's loving life. He also looks like a very suave man. I must say, <laughs> Cars 2 is definitely written. Listen, this is what I'm saying last time. You might have uncanny things that Cars has. Are we sure that Cars isn't controlling the entirety of motorsport or something like that? Because it is kind of mental how many things are very similar. This is just golden. Right, we've got the safety car out. Already, and I've got some retiring. Already, I know this is going to be a calamity. Let's watch. Right, we're under the safety car. Now, immediately, this is the guy in the thumbnail that was retired. So I have a bad feeling about this. I really do. <laughs> oh my god, he got absolutely wrecked and he nearly got destroyed. His safety car's lagging back into him. That little jolt here, you'd cheat yourself. Look at this, jolts back into him nearly. If he wasn't watching, that would be me. Typical me, I'd be looking behind me on the camera and I'll be going a little bit too left onto the racing line and that safety car would have hit me straight away, glitched into me. But that's what happened with this dude. He got glitched into and he got... <laughs> What a what a what a what a freeze frame! This is this is art. This is quite something. I've seen taken out. I've seen taken out by the safety car by myself. This is a new level of being taken out by the safety car. Christ, he's been put in the air. He's been putting his spliff, mate, on the right hand side. Anyone else notice this light, dark, dark light? Red Bull just doing the opposite of Mercedes at this point. I mean, they are. I mean, it's working for them. They're finally, you know, in a, in a title challenge with them in the V6 era. So don't knock it. Don't knock it. Find the difference. <laughs> I saw that. I saw this. That Perez literally did the same thing. He had the look back. And then there's also the other one where he looks forward and like smiling. And it's uncanny. It's very uncanny. I will say also probably F1 setting up a little bit by, you know, showing them the thing and being like, oh, look, look behind you in the interview. You know, you can see it right there. And they kind of set it up. But the fact that Perez, you know, did it in the same manner like that and then also came back and smiled in the same way, had like a little smirk uh, like Bottas did, uh, is, un is uncanny. Again, F1... And most, it just repeats itself. There's a lot of things that repeat itself. Best pickup line ever. Also, what one? Are we? Are we? Are we back in like 2010 with this mean text? But hi, girls. I've been Hamilton twice in a Willy. I mean, he does look like he's really trying it on. And then I don't know what the hell is going on here with Alex Albon and this man manhandling him. The better, uh, the, the less said, the better. <laughs> <laughs> You're using my face. You know what? This is the best use of this facial reaction I've seen so far, even compared to my own thumbnails. Um, fastest time, Valtteri Bottas pole lap. Yeah, so they actually debated about this. Well, even Hamilton, Verstappen and Bottas debated this. Technically, Bottas gets pole because it's done. Pole is the man who lines up on, f on first place. Like, that's the pole lap. Even though the fastest lap in quali was Hamilton, but as soon as the, the quali ends, they apply the penalty and he gets demoted down so even though Lewis got the pole trophy because he got fast no he got the fastest lap trophy 
which is the tire, that mini tire. He signed it, and then he had to give it to Bottas because it was getting, it's basically his pole trophy. So I think, or something like that. I don't, I, you know, I think they should have just given the pole trophy to Bottas. They shouldn't have bothered giving it to Hamilton, but Hamilton got it, made a bit of a joke because he signed it and then put to Valtteri, uh, you know, here's my pole trophy. Um, and both, you know, uh, Valtteri and, and, and Verstappen and Hamilton would kind of agree that they don't understand it should just be given to him as a, like, in terms of record, Records, Hamilton didn't actually get pole at Turkey. In terms of in the record books, that won't get won't get uh, won't add to his pole thing. It'll be ba uh, Bottas's pole, which is all very confusing. I do feel like it just needs to be he got pole, and then on race day, that's when the penalties applied, and it's a different story. Survive Turkey backwards F1 2021 Extreme Hardcore Damage Mod. It's survive Turkey backwards. I mean, I can't do Survive Turkey or uh, either normally or backwards in the rain or the dry because Turkey's not on the F1 game, is it? Also, whilst I'm here, um, just drop Imola, please. Drop Imola. I'd like to start season three. You may have seen my community post uh, earlier today that I'm waiting for Imola to come in. Hopefully this week. Apparently rumoured to come in this week. If it doesn't drop on Wednesday at the latest, then I'm going to have to go ahead with season three without Imola, which will be a shame. We've still got Portimao as a new circuit, but Cody's gone. Gone. Just, just, you know, just, uh, just, just F1 fans when they see rain before Spa 2021. F1 fans when they see rain after Spa 2021. Squid Game meme, gotta get it in there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, true. PTSD, which I saw, I, I wish I saw someone crack a joke. Usually, obviously, it means, uh, you know, stress disorder, Spa disorder, PTSD. Anyone else seen this graphic? I think it's sick. Uh, I have not. I have not seen this graphic. This is the championship fight graph. Okay, this must be very new. Because I saw something similar like this when I think Abu Dhabi in season two, it showed Leclerc was mathematically out of the championship and it just didn't work. Yes, it didn't load properly. But if it does load properly, it's like this. That's cool. That's very good. That's I like that. I like, that's a nice little touch. I want this level of confidence in my life. Right. We got oh my oh mama. That is so fine. That is, you're literally a pixel away from a crash. Parting the waves like Moses. Okay. What? What is it? Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. very nice. My God, that would have given me the fear coming in. I would have been slamming on the brakes. Kudos for keep on. You kept it going. You just rolled the car through. He lifted off, but he didn't break. I would have been on the brake pedal for sure, but you just kept it going. Oh, you got so lucky here. What the hell? That is unbelievably lucky. I simply could not manage that in an online lobby. I would be in the wall on the left or right. Saved it at the Japanese Grand Prix. We've got a fight for P2. Send it down the inside. That's not going to end well. And he's... Oh, he's actually come off better. He actually came off better. The Merc got pushed further off the road. That is actually such a big finesse. That's a massive finesse by you. Fair play. Kudos. Well held, to be fair. Little tap of the brakes. Full opposite lock. And there you go. Back on the racing line. Like nothing happened. Right. What have we got going on here? Canada. My team, I think. Career mode. Sending it. Is it going to be a wall of chap? Oh, my. Ha, ha, ha. He's been absolutely wrecked. The wall of champions glitch with the weird tech phone barriers explodes. Has claimed another victim. And it's quite a spectacular one indeed. Your tie's come off. That I mean, look at that. That's how that's it. It's got problems, isn't it? Biblical last laps in the wet. Right, well, I'll be the judge of that, but let's see. If it is going to be biblical, maybe this could be biblical enough for us to end on this one. We've got the frame rate of, of the PS2, but never mind. Let's see what's going on here. Very, very... Oh, wait, hang on. I've just... Why is it raining in Bahrain? You must have set this up. And Verstappen is closing up on signs. This is... AI on AI racing, is it? Or you are Verstappen because you've sent it down the inside. That definitely is not an AI. You're you're driving as Verstappen. You've overtaken him. Science gets you back though. Oh no, oh no, so I lied. Science may be the I can't tell who the player is. They're all F1 driver names, so I can't tell. But what the what is going on? Three wide. Oh my god! This is amazing racing! And Seb, he's battling, he's pushing Bottas through. Verstappen's got the lead. Science in second, but how much longer as Bottas is drifting his way and nearly hits Science? What is going on? I need context for this. And then, I mean, that was just mental. That was crazy. And then Science goes wide here. 
And on the line, Bottas is going to chase him inside his spawn it. Nearly into the pit wall. And it's a photo finish nearly. Oh, Bottas nearly gets him. But what the hell was that? This bit, I was baffled at. I thought I sussed it out. I thought, well, oh, Verstappen's the driver. You're driving as Verstappen in Grand Prix mode. But then Sainz loses the back end here as if he's the driver. What's going on? And then the fact that th this then becomes three wide... This is crazy. This is mental to me. In the wet at Bahrain as well. Right, well, I think we are indeed actually going to end it on this one because this was indeed uh, somewhat of a biblical nature on the last lap in the wet at Bahrain. Guys, if you did enjoy this one, hit the like button. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. If you're new around here, then do get subscribed for weekly Formula 1 content. Keep sending in F1 game clips, whether it be sick stuff like this, crazy glitches, crashes, whatever. I love to react to them and hopefully you guys, well, blah, blah. I, I, if you're crashing, maybe don't enjoy recording them at the time. But you know, it's quite wacky that we can all join in and laugh at how broken the F1 game sometimes can be. Anyway, till next time, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.